Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nexi, one of MLG's gaming analysts, bringing you some get better fast tips brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Now today we're going to be looking at some of Straight Ripping's strategies and how they set up on Guardian Oddball. Guardian Oddball is one of the game types that Straight Ripping shines on, and they have a very effective snipe tower setup that can be hard to break for even some of the best teams in the league. Let's take a look at some of their gameplay versus Carbon from the 2008 Las Vegas National Championship. The main positions of this setup are a player at top snipe, the ball carrier at snipe 1 and snipe 2, and the remaining players floating between elbow and green. The three types of attacks to look out for are rushes from green, top mid, and the lift. Let's see how this setup works against the green attack. The green attack is usually not an attack at all, but an unfortunate spawn for the enemy. Be careful though, where the enemy could turn this into a break in your setup. The key to stopping this kind of attack is to get an angle on the enemy using your superior positioning to easily shut them down. In this situation, Straight Rippin sends legit top mid to shoot down on elbow, T-squared keeps pressure and weakens opponents from snipe 2, and snipe down calls out enemy movement and takes down players from bottom mid, all while Elamite Warrior is able to rack up some ball time. One of the more common attacks is going to be from top mid. The keys to stopping this rush are your players in green. See how Elamite and snipe down switch out, doing most of the slaying from green giving themselves clear shots at the enemies rushing top mid. T-squared also does damage from top snipe, and even though he's taken out, Elamite and snipe down stop the rush, all while legit is able to get some ball time. Another rush to look out for includes players coming from the lift, where the enemy may send two more players flying at you to try to retake the snipe tower. This can limit the usefulness of your green players, so for this rush, watch how straight up and shifts positions away from green, and the objective player drops the ball to help double team the players coming over the lift. Now don't expect all players to lift though. See how Elamite prevents another enemy from attacking top mid and cleans up a final player who snuck in while straight was distracted. Guardian Ball can be a tough game type since you need to rack up time while holding off the rushes. It takes a skilled or coordinated team to win, so try some of these strategies out next time you're playing Guardian Ball. Now that's it for this episode of Get Better Fast. Remember one thing guys, drink it slow, doctor's orders.